Hello Aries, this is Julie with a mid-month checkup for you for September. How are you? How is your September going? We got finished with our eclipses, so whew, let's see what we're going to do with that energy now. Also, thank you so much to everyone who's watching and supporting, liking, sharing, subscribing, and donating. To all those who have donated, thank you so much. So greatly appreciated. And everything you you put into it, I put into the business and give it right back. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. It's been so lovely getting to know you guys through readings, too. Gosh, it's just a great joy to connect with all of you. All right, Aries, calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy for guidance, calling in the divine. What added guidance do we have for Aries through the remainder of September? What do they need to know for the remainder of September? Guidance, energy, messages for Aries. Okay, I'm going to give you one extra one. Okay. And the energy that's coming in from the beginning of September, trickling in for the rest of the month, is a Four of Swords. So, uh, you know, the beginning of September, you may have had to take a moment, take a breath, take a breather, uh, recollect everything that's going on, ground yourself a little bit before going on. Uh, so if you haven't already done that, it's a good time to do that. And I know I'm going to be posting these early September. So if you're listening to it early September, make sure that you're really nourishing yourself, uh, sleeping well, eating really good food, um, working your body in a healthy manner. It's important. And then we have the Hero font. Okay. And so this is the energy that's uh, going to be permeating everything for the remainder of September. And so with the Harrow font, it's a Taurian kind of energy. And you can kind of see the bull in there. Okay, so with the Harrow font, it, it is a focus on beauty. It is a focus on also, uh, you know, uh, churches and collective community energy. Uh, so that you're going to find that that aspect of your life is going to be highlighted in September. The Empress, Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. And then the added one is Temperance. Okay. So that makes sense why you needed to rest in September. Because you are going to be having a lot of, of social events pop up in September. The, um, the end of September. So this is for, you know, the 15th on kind of kind of timeline. Uh, but the Hierophant is, yeah, you're going to be in the community. You're going to be um, connecting with others in, in aspects that you relate to and aspects that you are drawn to. And in career, we even have the Knight of Wands. So you could be meeting someone in, in your workplace or in a, a group, you know, uh, if you go bowling or, um, you know, have a a hobby that you like and it's with other people you might be meeting somebody there and it's going to be a fire sign it's going to be a leo or somebody like you an aries or a sagittarius but they're going to be coming in to bring you a message and it's going to be quick and it's going to be fast knight of wands doesn't mess around it gets down to business they tell you they like you right off the bat you know if they like you they like you and if they don't, they you'll know right off the bat too. But this Knight of Wands energy, I think, is actually meant to kind of catapult you forward, it, it, especially since we have the Ace of Wands here, and that's in mind, body, soul connection. And since it's a wand suit, I do feel like it's a Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands are connected. Ace of Wands and the mind, body, soul connection is a new beginning, a new hunch, a new way of being. You you know something that is so heartfelt. Uh, so creative, so passionate, and I think this Knight of Wands is going to help you get there. All right, so yeah, you're going to have to rest at the beginning of the month because you're going to be starting something new, and it's going and it's like fire, Aries. You're it's going to come ablaze. It's going to start burning bright quickly. I also love that we have the Nine of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Pentacles over in abundance is keep building what you love. 
keep building what you have started. It is meant to happen, especially with this Ace of Wands too coming up. This Nine of Pentacles is really speaking about this new beginning having a really solid foundation and flourishing in your life. Even to the point of in relationship, we have the Empress. And the Empress here and the energy of the Empress is Venus. You know, it, and once again, Venus is ruled... Um, Venus rules Taurus and Libra, and that's so interesting that we have the Hierophant come up, which uh, is a Taurian energy. So you could be meeting a Taurian, you know, a Taurian person who, who causes you to have butterflies, to feel beautiful, to all of a sudden kind of be like a muse, and your create creativity starts to, to go into overdrive, you know? So the Empress is all, all that is beautiful. All that makes you feel beauty and creative and full. And also when I see the Empress too, be very careful because if you don't want to get pregnant, you are, then you need to be careful. Because <laughs> the Empress is, is fruitful too and can cause um, babies to be created. <laughs> Okay, so that's just a warning, but the Empress is a beautiful energy with um, friends and family and loved ones. I really feel like you're going to be connecting with at least one person, if not with a whole group of people that you just feel connected to and you feel abundant with. So with Temperance, the energy of Temperance really encompasses like a Sagittarian energy, and though it is often about kind of finding that balance within yourself. It's also about loving what you already have and not being jealous over what you don't. It's seeking the balance with what is already there and loving that and nurturing that and growing that. Nine of Pentacles, grow it. So this is a lovely time, Aries. You're gonna have a great month, it looks like. I'm excited to hear uh, from you guys about uh, what's going on. So I'm gonna pull on from the uh, Animal Spirit Knowledge Cards, just for a spirit animal to guide you. All right. So the frog, the frog is a symbol of feminine energy, creation. So I love that the frog popped up with the empress, okay? The empress is also feminine energy and creation. So when you see a frog, know you guys are on the right path. If you are drawn to, you know, a shirt with a frog on it, get it. You know, it's, um, it's your spirit animal. They are guiding you. A little bit from the back is that the frog is a creature of the water and has been associated with new life. In Egypt, they were placed on mummies to facilitate rebirth. In South America, people consider the frog to be lord over water, a feminine symbol, and did not kill them. Among Native American peoples of North America, the frog has been associated with the moon, which is also a feminine symbol. One story tells of a frog jumping into the moon, where it rules for eternity. So, water. Water signs, cancer especially, because the moon is ruled by cancer. Um, in tarot, it's ruled by Pisces. But astrology, it's ruled by cancer. So, Pisces or cancer energy is going to be kind of circulating you. Empress energy of beauty, of divine, of fertility. So, this is... Call on your frog, you know, call on your inner frog. And also, if you see frogs, just uh, ponder them for a minute. Acknowledge that they are there to give you a message. All right, Aries, remember, listen to your heart and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings. Mm -hmm.